Tampa has made another top 10 list, but this one is not so good. The National Pest Management Association says our area is one of the worst for vector pests. And Brightside's Jenny Dean is here to explain a little bit more about what this all means and what is a vector pest. Yes, that's a big question. I'm going to show you what a vector pest is right now. It is like a mouse or a roach. This is a vector pest. It can get in your home and it can transmit diseases or even trigger nasty allergies. Basically, they walk all over your counters, they leave their waste and germs behind, and sometimes it's so small we don't even see it as we prep foods or simply touch those areas. I did talk to an entomologist about why Tampa is at such a high risk. You know, whenever we start to see the increase in, in temperature, increase in rainfall, those are definite warning signs that pest pressures are gonna be on the rise, and you're probably gonna start seeing pest activity earlier than you typically would. All right, so let me translate what he just said for you. Don't be surprised if you start finding roaches in your house sooner this year, or even mice. And if you're not seeing them, well, they might leave a little bit of their evidence around, so you need to keep an eye out for that. So how do you protect yourself? Store your food in airtight containers. Dispose of your garbage regularly. Clean those floors and counters a lot, and then seal any potential entry points for these rodents or little bugs like cracks or gaps outside or any areas where plumbing or utility pipes enter the home and as always get rid of standing water. Now, if you suspect you have a problem, it is best to call a licensed pest control person that can come out and get rid of it for you before someone in your home gets sick. Now, we do have a list of recommended providers from the National Pest Management Association. It's on our website, WTSP.com.